Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I have a little bit of a cold so my voice will be a little scratchy but I wanted to share this. We are seeing the unfolding of end times prophecy and we must be alert. The times we knew in the past are like nothing that we are seeing now in this time. We are in transition. For those who are waiting for the rapture, you won't be disappointed. You will be lifted with the body of Christ when he comes, and he is coming for his body. I want to share a scripture, Psalms 32, for this time in history. I will start with Psalms 32, 5 through 11. God gave us some key instructions for these days we live in, in this chapter. It starts with the first step, which is repentance, so that we can be in relationship with the Lord. We are to confess our sins so that he can forgive us. And from there, we are told to pray in the time of the flood of great waters, which is certainly this time we are in. He will be our hiding place and preserve us from trouble. And then he can guide us if we listen and are not stubborn. He will deal with the wicked while we are protected. Here's the scripture, Psalms 32, 5. I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with bit and bridle, else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. And that was the scripture. It starts with repentance and ends with rejoicing. Why? Because Jesus is coming. We are about to see the scripture unfold. I also have some words that the Lord gave me while I was traveling last month. I will share part one here and part two soon. The reason it's in two parts is that the second part is more weighty. Please feel free to test all the words, especially since they concern nations. Here's that word. My beloved, the rapture is so soon. The rumblings have begun. The dead in Christ will rise first and after that the godly righteous. Things have been set in motion now, and there is no more time. My work with the Gentile church will draw to a close, and yet there will be still those who are saved. My righteous bride will be at my side as I rule over the rebellious nations. My eyes are on Israel, my firstborn whom I cherish. I will go after the one nation who carry my name and heritage. The rulers and planners of this age will come to nothing and will be brought into their own net. The afflictions they have planned will be brought to them like Haman. The Egyptians will go after harlotry, but will be exposed for their treachery to the United States. They will suffer loss. Damascus in Syria will be destroyed. Pakistan will align with her Muslim brothers. So I'm going to stop there as there's much more, but I want to allow the Lord to test it. If you know anything about this word on Egypt, please comment. I'm going to share the rest as the Lord directs. Brothers and sisters, we are seeing the events that mark the end. Pay attention and read through Psalms 32. We are saved by God's grace and we need to keep a humble and repentant heart always and to stay in relationship with the Holy Spirit. I love you and I'm praying for those who are on this channel. See you soon in the clouds. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.